And finally, on the last fishing tips of the year, Ray and Mandy talk about their favorite ways to catch some of the more popular panfish. Tonight we're going to talk a little bit about the most popular kind of fishing in Minnesota, pan fishing. And we're not fishing for pans, obviously. We're fishing for sunfish and crappies, uh, bluegills, whatever it might be. So how do you find them? Well, I think probably the most effective technique is to go along weed lines because that's where the panfish usually hang out, especially smaller ones. If you're looking for larger panfish, they're going to be in a little deeper water, especially after the spawn, after they've laid their, laid their eggs and they've moved out into the lake a little further. It's not uncommon to catch nice sunfish in 27 to 28 feet of water. One of the most effective ways to find them is to take a light line, two or three pound test, electric trolling motor, and work your way along the weed lines and what I like to do is I use little tiny crankbaits. And these crankbaits will allow you to find crappies and sunfish. You don't go real fast. Um, and once you find them, go back to that spot, throw out your anchor or your trolling motor, and then you can start using other techniques that Mandy's going to talk about for catching them. One of my favorite techniques and, and baits, once you've actually have targeted and found those fish, is to go in with a bobber and a simple little puddle jumper. You really don't need any bait added to this. You could uh, lightly tip it with a, a small little crappie minnow and or any of the gulp, pla or gulp fake baits. What we've got is two different kind of bobber systems on here. The one right here is a casting bobber. And you can actually add water to this that'll add weight so that you can cast further. And all you do is once you thread it on here, you spin the top and that locks that bobber into place and then you can set that specific depth that you want to fish for. Another option, if you're actually going to be fishing a little bit deeper, you're definitely going to want to go with a slip bobber. This one works really good when you're fishing in deeper water just because you can set your bobber stop and that'll actually reel into your reel so you can cast it out and fish anywhere from that 6 to 10 plus. So those are a couple of very simple techniques for catching uh, panfish. Doesn't take a lot of equipment, don't have to spend a lot of money either to have a real good time. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bassin Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.